Hello, field school parents and students and younger siblings. I am next to my fire and I am doing a head of school fireside chat just to give you an update on how the school is going and what you can expect when we resume after spring break and how you can pray for us. I am wearing my most cozy sweater to kind of give you that um, comfortable at home feeling and not so much the global pandemic and threat of economic collapse feeling quite so much. Um, at dinner tonight, I had my son practice his recitation. He's in kindergarten and he was reciting Psalm 23. And there's this line that says, even though I walk through the valley of deep darkness, I will fear no evil. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. And I was thinking about Mr. Lopez uh, in the chapel video yesterday. He said, same thing I will fear no evil for my God is with me and this is a time of uncertainty but as Christians we don't need to be afraid we need to be discerning we need to be careful we need to be wise but ultimately we are God's we belong to him and he comforts us and he protects us and we don't know the future but we know that ultimately uh, he will provide what we need and he will be with us so um, we can find uh, strength in that. I want to tell you a little bit about kind of where we are as a school first. So um, just the kind of major headline is we are actually doing very well as a school. We're in a strong cash position, so we're not going to run out of money tomorrow. Probably heard a little bit about, you know, businesses or nonprofits that could go under because of this. And praise God, that's not us right now. We're young and we're, you know, we've got a lot of kind of growing to do, but We'll be able to pay all of our employees. We made the choice that we're going to pay our hourly employees in addition to all of our and other, other employees. Uh, even though the hourly employees aren't really working right now, we care for those people. They've done an amazing job for us. And we want to kind of rally together as a community and take care of every person. Um, so praise God for that. We are actually right now in hiring season, getting ready for next year. And it's actually kind of a neat thing. Just today, we had someone accept a job offer, which is a really uh, big deal for the school. I'll announce that in a couple of weeks, but it's really exciting for our future, and we're interviewing teachers and instructional assistants and other staff candidates, and we have a lot of great uh, people applying, and it's fun to prepare for next year and the year after that. We don't know the future, but more than likely, the field school will be gathering in not that long, and probably next year and maybe many years after that, and we want to be getting ready now. Um, we are also signing new families up for school next year, and that's really exciting. We've already had more than 60 new student applications for next year. That's really important, uh, especially in our pre-K classes. We have two new pre-K classes. We have a pretty long waiting list in most classes, but we still have some spots in pre-K. So if you know families with younger children, tell them about the field school. We'd love to have those classes full so that students are getting what they need to lay a strong foundation for the future and be ready to thrive every year after that. Um, I wanna talk a little bit about what you can expect when we come back. So Monday is the first day back from spring break. This week we've been on spring break. We sent a few things, but it's not really kind of instructional time. Last week was like emergency, get stuff to students, like what do we do? Not a lot of time for planning. Now our teachers are pre preparing a lot more material. So there's going to be videos of teachers doing lessons and explaining things and reading through books and reviewing concepts and hopefully giving some pretty worthwhile material that will review previous stuff, introduce new things, and help students to really thrive and kind of make the most of this time. Because there's a lot we wanna learn and we don't want our second graders to not really learn all the things that they should normally learn in second grade for any grade. Um, so parents, I know every home is in a different place. So maybe you're really, really busy. It's hard to kind of attend to a student. There's gonna be videos where students can follow along. Um, it can't all be totally independent for a student, but our goal is that you'll have a lot of resources and links and things that students can meaningfully be doing. Uh, we also don't wanna to put too much pressure on you though, that every single thing that we could be doing is absolutely essential. So maybe you decide it's important for our family to go on a nature walk today and that's gonna take a little bit more time. So I'm not gonna be able to um, get to some of this other stuff. Teachers will identify those things that are most essential, that are kinda of like have to be done each day. 
And then those things that are supplemental or optional, but hopefully you can track along and everyone can kind of stay together. We're also gonna have uh, teachers reaching out to families fairly regularly. So calling, texting, checking in, asking about individual students, individual grades and habits and uh, things they're working on. We want to be with you in the midst of this. And even though we're not gathering in classrooms, we're here and we're working and we're praying for you and we're going to be sending materials. And it's not just kind of we send it and don't think about it. We want to make sure each student is kind of following along and doing well emotionally that they're okay, that their habits are still strong even though we're not gathering in school. We'll also have specials teachers sending videos. So music video, um, art videos, uh, we'll have other kind of supplemental things. So maybe Zoom calls where there can be homework review, you know, meeting with a teacher, talk about math homework for the week or things like that. We'd love for you to get involved in those. And if you have ideas or ways that we can help, we want to hear those. So we have talked a lot about this as a team and teachers have learned from other schools and other teachers and kind of shared ideas with one another. But if you have thoughts or suggestions or you want to reach out to your teacher, we encourage that. We've always had a strong sense of partnership with you and that continues even now. Um, I want to talk a little bit about our Field School Family Crisis Relief Fund. So this is a really unique time in our nation's history and kind of in nothing like it in the last maybe 100 years. And so maybe your family is going through a lot of challenge right now. Maybe you have job uncertainty or maybe your income has drastically dropped. Uh, we want to care for you and we want to know what you're going through. And we've actually have established this um, uh, this kind of special fund distinctly for this purpose, for you. And so you can reach out to Mr. Peterson, Mrs. Houghton, or to me, and um, you can share a little about what's going on. We'll ask a little bit more about that, but uh, we want to help and intervene and sort of, uh, as a community, care for one another. So please reach out if you have that. Uh, we've had a lot of families give to that fund, which is so encouraging to me. Uh, two days ago, we had a student at the school who received one dollar from the tooth fairy because she had her second tooth fall out and she donated that dollar to this crisis relief fund and I called her today and I thanked her for her donation and this is how God's people work some of us are in times of need now some of us will be in times of need later but we all can care for one another and we're not just blessed when someone helps us we're blessed when we are able to do that so we've had some people say hey how can I help can I get someone groceries can I sort of do something to kind of encourage other people at the school. And that uh, blesses my heart and I want us to kind of really intentionally uh, do that. So if you're in a place where you're struggling or maybe it's not so much a tangible need but you're just feeling anxious or lonely or you don't really know how to parent in this new setting, uh, please reach out. Let's uh, work together, pray together, care for one another in the midst of this. There's unexpected blessings in this but there's a lot of challenges and we're gonna see challenges continue you know, week after week of, of this. We're prayerful that we'll be able to return together April 20th. That's the earliest possible day that it could happen. It might not happen then, it might be longer than that, but we're gonna keep you updated with everything that we know. We wanna kind of be totally transparent about how we're making decisions, what we're planning about for the future, and we're all in this together. So we'll kind of uh, keep you updated as time goes on. Uh, Thank you so much for the expressions of care and love and support and encouragement. I've received those, other people have received those. I hope you're encouraged. Uh, God is still on the throne in the midst of this and there's things we can learn as a people. There's ways that we can care for others during this unique crisis. And my hope is that um, a month from now, six months from now, years from now, we'll be able to look back and, and recount all the ways that God has been faithful and all of the ways that he's used his people to minister to us, to encourage other people, to build his church, and we want the field school to be part of that. So thank you for joining me for my fireside chat, my cozy sweater. Uh, feel free to follow up with me or teachers or other administrators. We love you, we're praying for you, we're all in this together. Uh, take care. <laughs>